This is my poem, it's called A Forbidden Love. Through the fog appears a figure. I've never seen anything as beautiful as she. A walking dream is how she appears to me. Hair dark as my soul and eyes blue like the sea. But with my dripping fangs and translucent skin, forbidden lovers we shall have to be. Her eyes sparkle with mischief, but with the danger we will face, she really should flee. In my arms, I hold her tight. I've never seen anything as beautiful as she. Her beating heart and warmth embrace me, but forbidden lovers we shall have to be. A monster like me has found love to share, but with the danger we will face, she really should flee. For her, I do anything. I've never seen anything as beautiful as she, but no matter our love, forbidden lovers we shall have to be. Even with my heart on my sleeve, with the danger we will face, she chose to flee. And I imitated Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe with the repetition and the rhyming. So my poem very much reflects characteristics of the romantic period, especially those that Martin Trevasi emphasized in his video earlier in the iBook. Firstly, just the simpler, more ordinary language is a big part of the romantic writing, and that is clearly evident in my poem. Along with that, it's very much a gothic story, which is also a very common characteristic or unique aspect of the romantic period. It was um, romantics really loved these gothic stories. And even an example was vampires, this idea of the supernatural and the crazy and allowing you to look and dive deep into the dark sides of things and, and what is not the norm. And so my, my poem focuses on a vampire who falls in love with a mortal woman. And so that's very much supernatural and against social norms. And there's also this idea of love and the romantic period is different from the medieval times because it accepts the idea of being in love because previously in medieval times, being in love used to be seen as a very serious mental illness. And now it's a right to be able to fall in love and the right to be in love and that's emphasized in the romantic period. So my poem emphasizes this idea of falling in love and even if it's not um, supposed to happen or even if it's crazy love, it's still love and it's passionate and beautiful even uh, between two beings who shouldn't be in love. And I think this very much reflects the romantic period and the writing from that period, so. I hope you liked it.